welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. Today we're going to look at the various adjustments that you can make to the Ruger Precision Rifle. This rifle has a lot of different adjustments to suit a particular shooter and most of these adjustments are very repeatable so you can adjust it for a multitude of shooters very quickly. Before we begin, a couple tools we'll need are simply an adjustable wrench, a set of Allen wrenches, a well-lit area, a good mat, and of course safety glasses. Now when we begin with a rifle, we want to make sure the rifle is safe, so we want to point it in a safe direction, make sure the safety is in the safe position. We're going to remove the magazine. This uses a unique two-position magazine release, which accommodates two of the most popular types of magazines. We're going to pull the bolt to the rear and physically and visibly check the chamber to make sure it's clear of any live ammunition in the chamber as well as the magazine. So to do this, I'm going to start with the bolt closed, get that out of the way, and we're going to adjust the length of pull. There's two levers on the side of the stock. I'm going to release both of those, and I can pull the stock in or out to adjust it for my particular length of pull. When you get to a comfortable position, simply line up the lug of that rod with the riser, and you can lock that position down, and that'll lock our length of pull in the correct position. For our cheek piece, we can adjust this front and back, as well as if you pinch on either side of the Ruger symbol, we can raise and lower that to get the correct height for our cheek piece. If you need more extension for the cheek piece, we can release this, pinch in on either side, rotate that 180 degrees, and reinstall that back onto the rifle, again, get it in the correct position, and lock that down. Very simple to do. If you have a left-handed shooter and may want to remove this and put it onto the opposite side, it is simply a matter of releasing that. There's a screw on the opposite side, just a nut. Unscrew that nut and take the small washer out. Comes out with a washer, a spring, and the nut. On this side we have this whole assembly, a washer, a spring. Once a threaded rod is protruding through the opposite side, you can install the spring. Then our washer goes over the top of the rod and the spring, and now we can install the nut on top of the threaded rod. And adjust that so this will lock down with ease. You don't want that to lo lock down with too much difficulty. We can also adjust the butt pad as far as it can't go for a left or right-handed shooter or leave it centered. We simply have to take our Allen wrenches. It's easier to turn the rifle upside down. And we're going to remove the butt pad completely. Once the butt pad is removed, we have two screws that we need to remove. We're going to loosen the bottom screw, just loosen that one. The top screw, you need your adjustable wrench. That's also a 12 meter wrench, 12 millimeter wrench will work fine. This screw we need to completely remove. With that screw removed, we then have the option of, of reinstalling that screw with either cant, left or right your choice. Very, very simple. Just reinstall that screw with that cant. I'll do this one on center. Retighten the bottom screw and then simply reinstall our butt pad. Back on the rifle. The last adjustment we have is trigger pull, the weight of the trigger pull. To do this, we need to remove the bolt and remove the tools from the back of the bolt strap. So I need to depress our stock release button, swing our stock around. On the left side of the receiver, there is a bolt release. Raise our bolt, depress the bolt release, and remove the bolt completely. The back of our bolt and the shroud 
we have tools. There's a small Allen wrench. Comes out of the tool. Install this. If I flip the rifle upside down, I want the bolt open, safety in the safe position, and inside the magazine release, there's a small opening. I can install my Allen wrench, and you'll feel it engage an Allen screw down inside the trigger assembly. Once that's engaged, you can adjust the trigger pull weight. I would start with half a turn each way. As you screw the screw in, the trigger pull gets heavier. As you unscrew the Allen screw, the trigger pull gets lighter. And the range is limited on how much you can adjust that. But you can adjust this, try half a pound. Then you can try your, your trigger pull, pointing it in a safe direction. We've already made sure this is empty. Try your trigger pull, adjust it to where it's comfortable for you, and then you can reinstall your Allen wrench back into our bolt assembly. That's the major adjustments for the Ruger Precision Rifle. It's very, very simple, has a lot of different options that you can use. Thanks for watching Ruger Tech Tips.